hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna do a new instant fox logs if you want to see how it gets on keep on watching hi guys welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome if you're oldie but goodie hello thank you for turning back in so on today's video i have got another updated updated yes new method of fox locks and i thought i'd share it with you guys as always and um yeah as you can see my client's hair is about four to five inches long because i had been doing like um twists and stuff on it before so finally he's decided he want to go for fox locks but this is a journey to start off a dread journey uh like a proper dread journey so he wanted something that would be instant and um obviously i gave him this option and he was quite happy with it if you notice the very first one i did that is hanging down was a trial of his actual hair to see how it's going to turn out on an actual locks but um yeah that's how it actually turned how it turned out because i didn't bring my tools to start like instant locks with the length of his actual hair so we decided to you know i tried this with a crochet but this is the result i try i got so we decided to resort to the one i'm doing right now with extensions because he's going to graduate very soon so he needed something that looks nice and stands out and kind of like he can put in a bun and that is why we resorted to using extensions so yeah looking good so far so i have gone ahead and finished my anchor braids so that i can speed up the process um he wanted it a little bit chunky because he wants the new growth coming out to be chunky as it forms dread so that's what i've done i'm gonna go ahead and explain while i demonstrate what i was doing so you can get the hang of it basically i am passing the extension through the anchor braid about an inch or half an inch away from the scalp now this is supposed to help the hair well not supposed it's definitely gonna help the um process you know to um be a lot easier obviously making the hair to lay um a bit flat more than it was in the past because when i did it i didn't use this method in the past and the hair was kind of like a little bit stiff at first but with this method the hair the the locks is gonna kind of lay a little bit you know down but not completely flat until tomorrow or next so it's really good because the client won't feel so much pain and he will be able to like you know play around with the hair in the next couple of days if not tomorrow without having to worry about feeling so much pain and also um it means that there won't be any knots at the root of the um of the dread you know because this is a a dread journey it needs to be in the best of uh, you know condition as possible so that the new hair that's growing out is not going to look different or you know weird or strange from the rest of the hair that's going to continue to grow because this is an actual process he's not going to go back from this he's going to continue to grow his hair out into a dread <clears throat> so it's important that i get this right so with this method it means that the new hair that's growing out is going to be flat and nice so when i retwist it or recrochet it it will just lay nicely and form into a dread easy without any issues so that's what i'm going ahead and doing and then i'm going about going ahead and um, knotting it to kind of like you know protect it from coming down as you can see after I, I got done with that i i just put the just put the hair down and it literally just stayed in place as opposed to before i have to like use something to hold it down from it you know from stopping it to stop it from standing up 
if it was previously but with this method i just literally lay the hair down and it just stayed there you know and it's it also means that the my client's not feeling so much pain which is really really good um yeah this method is so good it's so um it's the easy way out basically because it helps clients not to feel so much pain like i said before i know i keep repeating myself but i want to make it clear out there for people who keep asking me or um if you've never tried not less method of um braiding hair or twisting or you know making dreadlocks on someone's hair before i recommend you try this method just put the extension halfway through and that will do the job perfectly for you yeah Right, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that again because I didn't quite demonstrate it as I would have loved you to see before. So what I've done here now is I've gone halfway. If you can see on that, on that very one that I'm working on, it's not from the root directly. It is just about halfway, like, like about an inch away from the scalp, an inch away from the scalp. Then I start to wrap. I am not wrapping it directly from the scalp. So therefore, there won't be any knots and it won't be as stiff. And it won't really hurt the scalp as much as it would have if I had taken it directly from the scalp. So this new approach is actually the best method to do this and, you know, reduce pain. And the hair will fall into place in no time. It will really like you know be easy to like play around saying tomorrow he will be able to play around with it and you know and maybe style it to whatever style he would like to wear and stuff like that so this really works and this is a new method that i'm, I'm gonna pretty much keep using from now on because i feel like that's the best but yeah guys <clears throat> That's pretty much about the explanation of what I've done differently. And obviously, like I explained before, I kind of like cut the, the, you know, the, like the, the hair into chunks because he would like it to grow out chunky in the future as the dread forms. But yeah, that's it pretty much. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for coming back again. If you have any questions like before, do ask me and leave it down below in the comment box. And um, I will make sure as much as I can to answer it. But I appreciate you guys watching and supporting. Share the video. You know, like it, comment. Thank you for your support again. Keep on coming back. Subscribe. I need to get to 2K subscribers in the next couple of days. So go ahead and get your friends, family, everybody to subscribe guys get me to 2k guys come on let's do this I really appreciate you guys this support you guys are the best thank you so much and god bless you see you in the next video bye guys bye